So in all honesty, I don't know how we're going to do this in two or three minutes, but we're going to try it anyways. My name is Jack Dong, and let's see here. Something that has a negative or something that has shaped me in my life. Well, um, my friends, you can say they've shaped me. I mostly shaped them, to be to be very, very honest. Um, music and, and ex life experiences and concerts usually has, has been a bigger impact in my life. Uh, who are these people? Well, there's two people like that come to my mind automatically that sh kind of shape my life. But I'm going to give them very little credit, but enough. Um, it's my best friend, one of my friends, because I have a few best friends but that I grew up with. But one of my good friends, I, I could say... His name is Ruben. My other um, person that I can say who helped shape me would be my Uncle David. And I've always talked about him in all my vlogs and all my videos. So, um, what did they what did they say or do to have a lasting impact in your life? Well, my friend Ruben has always been someone I can trust. I think life is so difficult and you can't really trust a lot of people as you progress when you're a child or a teenager into an adulthood. People come and go and, and me and him are still friends and I think the trust that him and I has, have built over 26 years is something to talk about 24 20 i don't remember um also the lasting impact my uncle gave me was me, you do you you make yourself happy no matter what it is and and if music is your freedom or or, or if it's whatever positive you do that that's what definitely i always kept from my uncle you know either it be art or it be music or if it was uh um some kind of uh, of a car thing like whatever makes you happy do that and that's kind of shaped me a lot in my life to be honest because it, it made me decide on what i like and what i don't like so how did the influence your life shaping yourself concept well i got into music on my own but my uncle david definitely shifted me towards it a little easier than than me trying to figure out where I want to go with it. And in all honesty, he doesn't listen to the same music that I do, but I appreciate his music. But we pl both play guitar and we're both really good musicians. You know, I think that is important to a self-concept that I took from him in some kind of way. How did the nature of the relationship influence the impact these people have had on in your life? Well, I just mentioned my uncle changed that impact of my life with music. He had a guitar. I saw it like, man, I, I would like to have my guitar one day. And, and that definitely influenced me in my life as an adult. And my friend Ruben, regardless of whatever category you want to put him at, um, if, he, if he's into rap or hip hop or, or he dresses like a normal dude, he still was open minded enough to get a drum set and play with his friend. And we, we jammed out, even though I'm heavy into music and rock, rock culture. You know, I think that is amazing. I don't know. How much, we're already going three minutes. I don't know how I'm supposed to do these fucking questions in three minutes. I'm just going to keep rolling. Um, were they strangers, acquaintances, friends? No, they were a friend, and my my uncle was obviously my family member. That these uh, relationships continue to this day? Have they ended? No. My friend Ruben and I are still friends. I talk to him pretty much every day, more so since I'm going to be moving to the Bay. We got in a lot closer after his relationship after, ended for 10 years. Mine that after seven. It happens. Pe people do. They, they Girls cheat. I mean, because guys do, but whatever. Like, they same shit happened to him. Same shit happened to me. That's the end of that. My uncle, bless his heart, he, he passed away. I miss my uncle very much. So that's how that ended. Um, and how does it, does it impact? Yeah, you know what? My friend, having that connection with someone you can trust has impacted me in a very large way because I know no matter what it is I have to talk to this kid about, you know, I, I know there, I'm always going to get an honest, direct answer. And, and, and that's something you can't buy. Like, you can, you can buy whatever the fuck you want, but, excuse me, you can buy whatever you want, but, like, there's no way you can get truth from someone unless they genuinely care about you and are watching for your best interest. And, and you know, my uncle passing away impacted me heavily because it happened right, like, after a year of COVID. He was fine, and shit happened, excuse me, things happened, and, um... My life hasn't been the same. We were supposed to see him on Thanksgiving. We're planning, like, it's just, it's a snow. It was terrible. It was, it impacted my life a lot. And now it showed me to, like, live more than I was already living. And I always remember that by my Uncle David. Um, how does this nature of the interaction influence you? I just mentioned it. And all of these influences people uh -huh, associated with positive experiences, how often associated with negative ones. You know what? Me and my friend, I asked this question last time. Going on five minutes, I apologize. I asked him, have you and I ever had a fucking problem? Like, sorry. A problem. He says no. And I'm like, why is that? He's like, you and I are honest. We might disagree on stuff, but we don't really have a problem. Or we don't get into fist fights or we don't get to that level because we you and I have the same common ground, I guess, and we think kind of similar. Even though we're, we're, we're the same, but we're different. It's very interesting. Uh, if you ever put us together, it's it's contagious. You, you'll see it. If you ever see him and I together, we, we just don't stop. It's, it's, it's very entertaining, actually. Um, people gather around us. It's kind of fucking weird. But 
that's how he works. With my Uncle David, um, yeah, fought all the time. <laughs> head to head. Uh, I was playing his Super Nintendo when he was at school, whatever, or with his friends, and I would touch his guitars and his drum sets, and I would, I would literally try to be his little brother, even though it was my uncle, and I would go through his magazines, so on and so forth. And that's the end of the video.